integrating by parts. This is the formula of integration by parts. Uh, integration of f of x times g prime x dx is f of x times g of x minus integration of f dash x times g of x dx. So this is an example. Now here, uh, one of the problems that you can face is to select uh, when you're uh, integrating by parts, you'll have two functions and you have to decide which of them you're going to select as f of x and which as g dash x. So it's easy to decide whichever function is easy to integrate, you take that as g dash x. Okay. Or yeah, you got you got two options. Either you can take f of x as x and g dash x as natural log of x. But you if you take natural log of x as g dash x, you have to integrate natural log of x. Now it's not easy to integrate or we don't have a easy formula for integration of natural log of x whereas you can integrate x easily so what i've done is i've swapped this over so the reason being i've taken g dash g dash x or g prime as x and f of x as natural uh, as natural log of x the reason being that it is easy to uh, integrate x and it is not easy to integrate natural log of x if you want to integrate natural log of x again you have, you have to do integrating by parts i will make a video on uh, how to integrate natural log of x again for that you have to do integration by parts okay so if f of x is natural log of x uh, f dash x or f prime x or derivative of natural log of x is 1 over x and uh, if you integrate g prime x you get g of x and integration of g x is x squared over 2. so using the same formula f of x times g prime x so f of x is natural log of x and g prime of x is x so natural log of x times x dx is f of x times g of x so cross multiply uh, it's easy to remember this formula like this integrate this to integration of this times this dx is equal to the product of this two you have to cross multiply this two minus integration of this two okay minus integration of 1 over x times x squared over 2 okay so this becomes very easy so this one of the x gets cancelled so this is one half integration of x so and that is this remains the same which is x squared over 4. it's a good practice to check whether your integration is right and you can because integration is the opposite of differentiation so if you differentiate this you should get back the function that you started integrating with so integration of x squared over 2 natural log of x minus, I'll factor out a quarter, d by dx of x squared. Now using the product rule, when you differentiate, I'm differentiating the first function. When you differentiate this, you get this times the second function plus the first function times the derivative of the second function, which is 1 over x minus and the derivative of x squared is 2x okay so here 2 and 2 gets cancelled so this is x natural log of x and this x and x gets cancelled 2 goes in quarter 2 times so this is x over 2 minus x over 2 this and this gets cancelled and you're getting back the function so you are perfectly right and you are you're loving calculus